I'm Tim, the Woodworking Maniac, and welcome to another bi-weekly shop update. Uh, last week I actually showed you how I made the sticker cabinet door and uh, got some of the stickers that are on there, but I got a few more stickers in this week, so I want to show you some of those. Uh, first off, I got some stickers from Dima, Dima's Wood Shop. So, Dima, I appreciate that. Those will be going on the cabinet here shortly. Uh, I got a handwritten letter uh, from stone and sun so uh shane i appreciate that appreciate the uh the prayers for my family and it was good to meet you on uh, on the hangout uh recently so i got a stone and sun sick sticker that's gonna be going on there here shortly and also uh jonathan conrad uh sent me also a handwritten letter and a sticker for conrad designs so there's his sticker uh that's gonna be going on the cabinet but he also sent me a prayer card and something that he makes uh, this one's out of walnut a pocket prayer cross um, these are something that you can carry around and in your pocket and a lot of times you know you can be praying and just kind of holding on to these these crosses and just just kind of have your hands on them and, and stuff um, I, I've also made made a few of these in the past as well, but he's done something a little different here. He's actually embedded a, uh, a little coin, and it's a St. Joseph uh, coin in here. So it's, it's really neat. I appreciate that. And he said this walnut is actually from Matthew Cremona as well, so that's kind of cool. So a little bit of uh, YouTuber uh, history there. But uh, yeah, I've, I've actually made some of these pocket prayer crosses as well. Um, I like the smooth design that he's got going here. Um, Here's one of them that I've made uh, out of uh, Bethlehem olive wood. And this was actually, I, I hadn't rounded this one off or anything yet. Uh, this one was uh, just kind of a trial I was making out of some Bethlehem olive wood pen blanks. So I was trying to see uh, something I can do with that. But uh, I appreciate that, uh, Jonathan. I, I, I really appreciate the sent sentiments on that. So um, I'm going to... At the end of uh, this video, I'm going to go ahead and stick these stickers on the sticker cabinet. But uh, there's going to be a lot of changes to my shop here soon. I'm kind of doing some reorganizing, and I just purchased a, a new planer. Uh, I sold my old planer that you've probably seen in a lot of background shots and also seen in, in use in uh, some of my videos. But I had a 15-inch planer. And I just sold that one and just bought a behemoth off of Craigslist. Uh, a 20-inch, uh, new to me, but a very old planer. It's a 1988 model Grizzly. Uh, so it's a great machine. Uh, it's a solid old machine. It's got a little rust on the outside, but the internals are still great and one wonderful working order. So uh, it's going to get a lot of good use in my shop, and I'm very happy to have it. So... Um, probably going to be doing a lot of reorganizing in my shop because my layout of my shop is not all that great. And I've had a recent question on uh, quite a few times. I've, I've, I've been asked about doing a shop tour of my shop. And the reason I haven't done a shop tour is, well, two reasons. One, my shop is a complete disaster. Uh, I, I try to get the shots, uh, to where it doesn't appear that way but my shop is a complete disaster and uh, when I do a shop tour I don't really want it to be that bad of a disaster looking so uh, it needs a big cleanup before I do a shop tour and also I want the organization I want my tools to be in place uh, where I want them for when I do the tour so uh, I will be doing a shop tour at some point that's probably going to be a few months down the road once I get everything in order uh, I'm going to be redoing my dust collection, uh, uh, duct work, and all that. So I've got a lot of work ahead of me before I'm ready to do a shop tour. So that's that's up ahead of, of me. Um, but what I've been doing in my shop, uh, I had to bring in that planer. I actually, uh, that was rather entertaining. I actually unloaded it all by myself. That thing weighs 760 pounds. And uh, getting that thing off of the trailer by myself was rather entertaining. Uh, I actually had to slide it off the trailer, and uh, <laughs> it, it was tough. And I felt it the next day, for sure. It took four of us to load it on the trailer. Uh, but when I got home, well, it was just me. So I had to figure out a way. 
but I did get it off the trailer. I got it into my shop, and when I sold my old planer, I had a mobile base on that one, and when I sold the old planer, I told them mobile base is not going with it because I need it. <laughs> so uh, I ended up keeping the mobile base, readjusting the size, and getting the 20-inch planer onto that mobile base also by myself. But that was that was fun as well. So got it over there, got it in place. That's that's put in order. So that was one thing that I got taken care of this week. And I'm also still working on the crib. So uh, that is a big undertaking that I'm working on and I'm trying to work full force on the crib. Um, so that is that has taken a whole lot of my shop time. Uh, so I don't know if I'm going to have a build video next week or not. Uh, if I don't, I will probably try to do a shop update of some sort, uh, or some sort of video. Uh, I'm not sure if I will or not, but we'll see, and uh, that's pretty much what's been going on in my shop. I hope you all have been having a great week, and uh, I hope you all have a great day. So, God bless.